Okay, in this video, I'm going to be doing everything that has been asked about perimeter and area. And I'm going to split this into two sections. I'm going to do polygons and then I'll do circles and sectors afterwards. So for the polygon section, I just mean anything that is not um, with anything with just straight edges on the sides. So it says here are two rectangles. We've got ABCD and we've got PQRS and it gives some extra information that is not on the diagram. So I think that's going to be the first thing that I want to do. It says that QR is equal to 10 centimeters. So I'm just going to write it in as 10 and it says that BC is equal to PQ. So this length that we've got here is the same as this length that we've got here. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna highlight it to make it clear that that length and that length are gonna be the same as each other. The perimeter of ABCD is 26, and the area of PQRS is 45 centimeters squared. So this one has the perimeter is 26, and this one's area is 45 centimeters squared. Find the length of AB. So this is the thing that I'm trying to find over here. Well, I think first of all, I can find out what the length of SR is. I think I can find this length straight away because the area is 45 and the side length is 10. So if I do 45 divided by 10, I'm gonna get 4.5. Well, I could say SR, I could also say PQ. So that's gonna be 4.5, that's gonna be 4.5, and that's gonna be 10. And now because I know this is 4.5, I can immediately say that this length over here is gonna be 4.5. And the one opposite is gonna be 4.5 as well. So if I call this one at the top that I'm aiming for, if I call it X, then this one down here must be X, it means I can now do the discussion about the perimeter. So the perimeter of that ABCD shape is 26. So 4.5 plus 4.5 plus the X plus the X, is equal to 26. So 4.5 plus 4.5, that's 9. So 9 plus 2x is 26. I'll subtract the 9 and 2x take away 9 is going to be 37. 37 is going to be 17. Very poor maths there. And all I'm going to do is half of 17 and half of 17 is 8.5. So the length of AB is 8.5 centimeters. I'll tell you what, I can just move this up just a tiny little bit hopefully without that bit attached, then I can say AB is 8.5 centimetres. Let's double check it's right. Yep, there's the 8.5. Sometimes these mark schemes can be a bit difficult, which is why I've wanted to do the videos like this so that you can see my, my solutions and my thinking for them. Okay, this time it's kind of blended with some algebra, but fundamentally I still think this is like an area kind of question. It says the area of square ABCD is 10 centimeters squared. Show that X squared plus six X equals one. Well, you could either do this multiplied by this, or you could do different parts at a time and you could show it on the diagram. So this first section is gonna be a three times three, which is nine. This next section is X times three, which is three X. This section is an x times by 3, which is a 3x. And then our last little part is x times x, which is x squared. So they'll, sh they'll look at the diagram when you're doing this, but we now get that x squared plus 3x plus the 3x plus the 9 is equal to 10, because this is the area, all of those things being multiplied and then added. So we get x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 10. All we need to do is just make it look like this. So I'm going to get rid of that 9 from that side, and I'm going to say that x squared plus 6x is equal to 1, because 10 take away 9 is 1. It was pretty early in the exam paper as well. It was only question 4. So we will now continue and have a think about this one. This is an odd one, because they actually want you to calculate the area on a centimetre grid. Well, you need to know the area of a trapezium formula. You could do this without, but I think it makes it a lot easier. First of all, you find the lengths of the parallel sides. This is a two, and this one along the bottom is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The height is how many squares it takes up on the side like this. So the area of a trapezium, you take the average of these parallel sides. So you're gonna do a two plus seven divided by two, and then you multiply it by the height, which is four. So two plus seven, that is nine divided by two, times four, nine divided by two times four. Well, actually, I could just put this in the calculator. I was gonna say you could, I was just gonna show you a different way of doing it, but I'm gonna do it with my calculator. Nine divided by two times four is 18. So the area is 18 centimeters squared. 
it says, sorry, I didn't even read the question, on the grid, draw a triangle equal in area to this trapezium. So we just need to come up with a triangle that has an equal area. Well, I remember for a triangle that you halve it at the end. So if I make sure that the base and height multiply to 36, then it should be good. I'm going to do the base with 6. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then if I do 6 up the side, that is 6 times 6, which is 36. And then when I half that, I will get the 18 that I have. So there's my triangle that I have. This is going to have an equal area because it's a 6 times 6. And just to show you the working, it would be 6 times 6 divided by 2, which is also 18 centimetres squared. Yep, so we'd get a triangle with area 18, which is what we drew there. Okay, it says the diagram shows a floor in the shape of a trapezium. John is going to paint the floor. Each five liter of tin, sorry, each five liter tin of paint costs sixteen ninety nine. We can see it here, and one liter of paint covers an area of two meters squared. John has one hundred and sixty pounds to spend on paint. Has he got enough money to buy all the paint he needs? You must show how you get your answer. So remember what we just said, for finding the area of the trapezium, we find the average of the parallel sides. So you're gonna do your 10 and your 16. You're gonna do 10 plus 16. You're gonna divide it by two and you multiply it by the height, which is seven. Now it's a calculator paper, so I'm gonna be really lazy. I'll do my 10 plus 16, that's 26 over two. And I'm gonna multiply that by seven, which is 91 meters squared. And it says one liter of paint covers an area of two meters squared. So here I have got five liters. So one liter does two meters squared. Kind of should put an arrow in there rather than said it equals, because I guess it doesn't technically equal that. But one liter does two meters squared. I could even use like the ratio side. So I have a tin of five liters, timesing it by five it's going to cover 10 meters squared. So the number of tins needed is going to be 91 divided by 10, which is 9.1 tins. So we're going to round that up to 10 tins, round to 10 tins. Now we're going to find out how much the cost of 10 tins is. So the cost is going to be 10 times 106, oh, sorry, 10 times 16 pounds 99, which is 169 pounds and 90 pence. So no, he does not have enough money because he only has 160. No, he does not have enough. Let's see if we got that right by having a look at these parts here. Yeah, 169 pound 90 was how much it cost. So it was definitely a no for that one. Okay, that's going to take us on to circles in the next video. So I will be returning with stuff to do with circumference and area of circles.